Yo, I'm here to give you feedback on your own. If you have any questions, DM me or ping me in your thread. Okay, let's start off with... You're not using um, wall bypass. And if you can reset correctly without wall bypass, it is significantly better than using wall bypass. Um, you'll be entering the nether more often. and um, But that is resetting correctly with it. And that's pretty hard. So, in between every reset, or every, like, reset between locks, you want to be locking seats, like, top right, top, or bottom left. Those are good locks. And, um, you want to make sure that you are locking seats and resetting at, like, uh, at least, like, one time in between every, um, every, like, seat check, I don't know. Good grabbing iron sword. I don't usually like, or a lot of people don't usually like to shove like uh, mechanics, like telling people to practice like crafting movement or not movement, uh, like crafting portals, all that stuff. They don't usually like to say that because a lot of people say, and it is correct that mechanics don't matter as much as game sense and like game knowledge and doing every strat correctly. Um, but I, and some other, like, mechanically gifted runners, like, uh, or think that pra practicing crafting, even just, like, 10 minutes a day, or 10 minutes before every session, can go a really long way. Um, like, I know Prithin was saying it, but, uh, your overworld averages will drop, uh, or your overworld average will drop, um, pretty much every split just having better crafting uh being better at search crafting uh being better at uh yeah, yeah i guess search crafting is mainly one just crafting in general will uh save a lot of time overall in runs and in the future Yeah. Um, I don't think Y is very good right there. Um, the main thing you want to be doing when you, uh, like, Y check with wide macro is making sure you're doing it at a good time. That, for example, is not a good time. A good time would be right here when you're running to Bastion. Uh, maybe if you can get, like, a little bit in with really open terrain, um, you just want to have it, like, somewhat overlapped at any point. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me read the... I made a couple mistakes off one too low in housing and completely forgetting to zero. Also, I went AFK in housing to close the lines IRL because of glare. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I played the wrong wall though, just on the D. Okay, let's see. I will be the judge of that and I will make fun of you. Fast hole! You placed a block above your pick ones. You have 900 fucking years. The turn, like, do fast hole. If you don't know what fast hole is, uh... Oh! <laughs> yeah, but, um, fast hole is breaking, or uh, breaking your... Why the fuck are there so many mice on my desk, dude? Uh, building your thing here. 
where you dig down to place a block above you and do the same hole that you did. Um, shit. And it saves a good amount of time, just because you're mining less blocks. Uh, do green pie. It gives you the freedom of clicking any, uh, like, a number of keys that you want, um, with no consequences. Um, throw out fire charges or... FNS just here. You don't need both in your inventory, it's really useless. Pretty good overall bastion split. There's a good pro. Are you on Quake Pro? I don't think you are. That was a shit pearl. This is a completely blind pearl. Here, let me go back to link through it. Here. You had already started jumping and you already committed to throwing the pearl. Um, before you even saw this train up here, you throw that pearl to the left and sink a pearl. Like, just onto this gravel. It's really good. Um... I, I don't know if you have TNT, but if not, you should have crafted a bed in the Bastion if you don't have TNT. Um, read the description too. I haven't done much on my because I've been sick, or I since I'm doing much Okay, um, damn, 524. Oh my god! Holy shit! Uh, please get better at Iron Sword Forts. Like, you're getting the, um, you're getting the Iron Sword, which is really good, but you aren't using it correctly, which is not good. Oh, that is, yeah. Okay, um, that is far enough. Okay, <laughs> after you fuck it up the first time, I don't recommend going for it. Because good chance you're gonna fuck it up a second time. Wait! Wait, wait a minute, wait, okay, wait, let me... Okay, so... We go to a spawner here. Is this the spawner you try to pull hang to? I see, okay. Threes are not that important. It is one string. All of this time, you spend running to it, fucking up the pro hang two times in a row. Um... All of that could be um, just you blaze betting. Um, 
and that's a big thing. Oh, anyways, um, yeah. Could be you blaze spamming. Please don't go back to the spawn room. Dude, okay, you need to set your fucking priority straight. Okay, priority at spawner. You need to get in the spawner and um, immediately kill the first wave. After killing the first wave, you need to um, if start mining out the spawner if you don't have blaze bed, which you do here. Um, or you blaze bed the spawner. Um, or blaze TNT or blaze whatever. Fucking TNT minecart explosive flame arrow i don't give a fuck clear out the spawner immediately after killing the first wave and after that you want to build your portal and pre craft or pre craft explosives and build portal um because that's the next thing that matters um see now you're all of you could have had the spawner blaze fed it out uh cleared out and everything if you just crafted an explosive in the bastion, or a bed in the bastion. And you wouldn't have had to, and you wouldn't have had to go for that straight. This guy drops, this guy drops. Oh. Debating on how comfortable you are with leaving on five on this pace, I would I would say don't blaze bed, um, because when you blind, come back through and shit, uh, there could be just another spawn. But if you aren't comfortable with leaving on five, for the love of ever living, you have seven beds, and you're staying to mine out the spawn. You can almost do two zero cycles, and you're mining out the spawner. Why? And you're not getting rolled. You're s Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't usually say this in feedback. That is so lucky. Because you're getting like blaze bed style spawns. Blaze bed, I mean, like you got two spawn there, but like, which could have been a four spawn. And um, yeah, but like you're getting the spawns when you aren't like blaze bedding. And it's just unpunished or not punished. No. Do bow die, bruh. What the fuck are we changing our stuff for so much? Three eyes? You're not sending the fucking 1900 offset? Yeah, please do, Bodai. Please. There's no excuse anymore. Could have maybe checked that shipwreck for food chest. I don't know how worth that is. That's just something I thought of right now. <clears throat> don't throw pearls straight down because there's a good chance you can just get absolutely fucked and you're gonna be like, your pearl is gonna hit you or something and uh, you'll just be shot up and all of your stuff will fly everywhere. And especially right next to your nether portal on something. Yeah, pearl down. Boating here, that's 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 a decent play. Uh, 
I don't know. I'd like to save that apple for zero. Because if it's like if you have if it's buried that you're gonna be throwing what four pearls? And you're and you may need that apple to regen enough to be able to do the zero. In. Oh my god, I saw the spike. I saw the spike. I saw the spike. I saw the spike. We go back. We go back. Wait for it. Change this in portal. Change this in portal. Wait for it. Right there. That is a perfect spike. You are on it for... You are on that spike for two frames. You are not checking correctly. You are just spinning around in a circle and spamming F3, er, F3, er, F3, er, shift F3, whatever. Uh, uh, I guess just learn your numbers better, uh, practice stronghold out a lot more. Um, see if you saved the apple. You saved the apple. Gotta, I guess you have enough health to throw two pearls anyway, so it just doesn't matter. It's back, place it on the left side. Yep. That's fine. No, nah, that's chill because you want a better pearl, I guess. I see the vision. You're standing far back enough, I think. Actually, I think you're at like 65-ish. This is about 70. There we go. That is the biggest bait ever. Holy shit, that's, that looks just like a perch. But her reading perch is that doesn't look like a perch whatsoever. That doesn't look like one. Let's just stay back. Um, you're standing so close. You're standing so close to this fountain. Still so close, and it doesn't even look like it's perching. Oh, now it's perching. There we go. Badass pearl. There you go. Um, I think that's it. Can't think of anything else. Um, just big things are. It's just overall end fight, um, not forgetting the zero, the uh, food management, yeah.